Yeah, definitely. I mean, there are there are key differences that I see right now. Um, Eastern medicine is more focused on on just regulating the body, keeping you healthy, boosting your immune system, sort of thing. And Western medicine is definitely more um, like focused treatments. You have like medications, antibiotics that are um, there for um, targeting specific types of illnesses and, and helping you recover from them. So, I mean, th that's the key difference I see at this point in time. And I think that both of them should be used. I think that um, natural treatments to boost the immune system are, are definitely good. Um, acupressure could be good um, for more types of chronic pain. Um, it's been shown to help. And as I said, with, with attention, that was my research. So I, I definitely think they could be integrated. And also, like, the theories behind them, people say Eastern medicine hasn't been scientifically investigated. So um, that's, that's my goal, to kind of scientifically investigate it, see how it is effective. And, and if you look at, at the theories behind them, as I, um, there's, there's qi um, going through the body according to Eastern theory, and, and you're trying to regulate that. But then it's been shown that the acupressure points are located at points in the body where there's low electrical resistance. So it's conductive areas where you can easily send an electrical signal throughout the body. So, so in that sense, there, you're sending electrical energy throughout the body. Um, there is electrical charge differences between blood in the arteries, blood in the veins. So, um, so really, qi could just be another form, an Eastern term for electricity that they um, had way back before um, electricity was like formally discovered. So, I mean, I think that there's a definite relationship between the two that, and they should um, connect more so than than they are in the present. Mm -hmm.